Uh, I cannot believe that we made that mistake. Finally, we are getting some decent snowfall again. By the way, welcome back to our off-grid homestead. We're building it from scratch here in North Idaho. Uh, we got the sheetrock done. We got it painted in the last video. And now it's time to start wrapping up the electrical, get all of the lights in, get all the switches, get all the outlets done. Cruise in and I'll show you what we're doing. Jules, yes. show them what we're doing. Okay, we gotta go up into the loft. Oh, you wanna show them what we've already done? Oh. That's okay. <laughs> we did a little cheating. We did because Marty had to teach me how to do it. So, but I can show you right here. We'll go up into the loft and I'll show All you right. the magic. Oh, hey, there's lights on up here, Jules. <laughs> so that switch that I just flipped on is the loft lights. This one is the Turns them off. off. And then look at there. We've got this one. Nice. We gotta, we gotta change the color on that light. Yeah. Cause it's, um, that one's set for, I think 3000. And these ones are set for four. Yeah. I think we're gonna go with four for the whole house. Although, I really like the three, it's like. Right. Yeah, I mean that, the, the yellowy one. Oh, you like the yellow. Cause it's more, it gives it more of a rustic feel. Yeah. You know, oh, like, wow. oh, whoa, look at all the flies, man. <laughs> Crazy. Then eat them. Eat them all. Eat them, right? There you go. Yeah, tasty, huh? <laughs> so it's landing on my foot. And then, this is what Marty taught me how to do. So all of the outlets. Yeah, you did all the outlets pretty much, huh? Charging. Cool. So we went around with my phone and checked every box just to make sure they were all good. They're all done. Everything in the loft is wired up. That's right. So now we'll show you how we're doing it. Kind of, we figured it out up here. So we'll get down here and we got a ton of lights to put in and outlets. Yep. I think by the end of the day, my hand is gonna be so sore. Oh yeah, for from sure. all the cranking and twisting. <laughs> Definitely. So we've got all of these, all of those, all of those, and then all these lights where all these wires are hanging down. Those are all lights that need to go in there. It's nice and warm in here. Ah. But it is really echoey, so I apologize for that, guys. It's gonna be echoey for quite a few videos, but Hopefully once we get the cabinets and furniture and stuff in here, the echo will be lessened. Do we want to start with the grand room or do we want to start with the smaller area? What do you want to do? What do you feel most comfortable with? I guess we could do either one. Let's do the grand room then. Okay. You know, a question that people ask is, is it really a grand room? <laughs> <laughs> we call it a grand room, not because it's it a great room? size. But because it's a combination of a kitchen, there's no interior walls dividing our kitchen, our living room, and our dining room. Right. So that's why we call it a great room, I guess, is what it should be called. Yeah. So. Yep. That's just what we call them here in the States. Maybe not everywhere in the United States, but if you're outside of the country, a room, yeah, that includes kitchen, dining room, and living room, all in one room, is a grand room or a great room. Man, we do have one problem though. When I was counting up the outlets that I needed to buy, I noticed that there's not one right here. There should be one here. And that would be for the stove, like the, um, the propane stove to run the computer and all that stuff on it, but it's not there. So I think they just covered it up with the sheetrock on accident and I'm gonna have to find it. Or the other option is we didn't put one in. That's gonna be a pain if we didn't put one in. But I think we did. So we need to actually go back to watch our own video. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm sure that if we put it in there, we'll be able to see. Yep. But if not, we'll also be able to see, but we can be able to count over maybe how many studs, and then up, it should be the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm almost positive, because that Sarah and I did the kitchen, and I feel pretty confident that we did it, so we just need to find it. First, we had to pull out all the newspaper. We stuffed this in there so that when we painted, it would stay a little bit cleaner in there. So we get to just pull out all of our wires again. Excuse me, kitty and puppy. <laughs> They're my great helpers. This is what we got. All right. So from here, Marty tells me what to do, and then I do it. So these ones are a little bit different than the other ones. These are 12 gauge wire, and they're fatter. Yeah, they're a lot thicker. 
Yeah, so we're going to use the 20 amp outlets on this okay. instead of the 15s. Okay. And then you're going to do everything the same way. Okay. Let's see here what we've got. Get out of the way, kitty. Come on. We had to get this style for the 20s because they didn't have this. I like this style better. It's like classic, but this is what they had. So that's what we're using. So go ahead and open up one of these guys. So many poppers all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We got one of these. Yep. So it's the same as the other ones. So we got the... Black goes there. Positive here, and what is it, neutral? Yep. So then we also bought these sealers, or gaskets, I guess they're called, to put behind the plate, just to help with any drafts. Just show them how to do that, huh? Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. I still remember yep. we were standing When the world stood still Says, this is the quick fix installation, 25% faster. We'll see about that. I've never installed a ceiling fan before, so I don't really know what I can compare the 25% faster to, but hopefully it's pretty self explanatory. Finally, I got this thing done right here. Put the ceiling fan up there. I think personally that it is hanging down too low. We kind of we went with the we went with the guide that they had there at Home Depot, and it's actually supposed to be even lower. We couldn't get the the longest one that they said. It would have been another foot lower than that. But I don't know. It just seems it seems too it seems too low to me. We can always make it shorter, but we're gonna leave it like that for now and see if we don't come to love it over time. Here's what it looks like from the loft. And so it'll it'll definitely circulate some some heat. But that's what we've got right now. Slow going. But Jules, man, she's doing an excellent job over here. Check out what she's got done so far. She's got all of these outlets done all the way over to here. Now she's working right here in the corner. Jules, have you been a bad girl? <laughs> Stuck in the corner? I hope not. I've been trying to do good. <laughs> <laughs> but my hands, yeah, man, they're feeling pretty beat up. I know it. Uh, I've got a long ways to go. But these wires, they're so, they're so thick. So yeah. it takes like a lot of muscles. These right here are the lights we're putting uh, over the <gasps> sink right here. Tux, what's your problem, dude? Huh? What are you doing? It's like, mm, there's something out there. I know it. There's nothing out there but snow. One of the problems that I'm having is actually trying to get the outlet flush. Let me just show you an example. When I get, take the plate, and this isn't screwed in all the way, but when I take the plate and I put it up here, sometimes it's not, it doesn't go flush in there, so. It's like not square. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, so it's like this is twisted inside the box. I don't know. I don't know the I don't know the trick for that, but I'm struggling with that. They're all looking good right now. Really? Yeah, it just takes a little bit of extra effort to get them straight. Huh? Okay. Thank you. I'm just Murphy. We got these two guys up here. These are just temporary light bulbs. They're actually for other spots, but we don't have like the decorative light bulbs that are gonna go up there. We wanna be able to test it today. So we just stuck those up there for now and we'll take them out and put them where they really go later. What you got going on here? Well, I am stumped on this one. Yeah. I need your help with it. I've got nine wires. Nine, <laughs> ooh, that's a lot. And so I don't know, I need your help. Okay. I gotta learn something new. All right, let's do it. So this is the outlet that goes in that box right here. 15 amp outlet, but we got way too many wires. So we need to make a couple pigtails, just like we did for the grounds. So we'll go ahead and cut a couple pieces off here. And then we gotta strip them. 
go ahead and cut them off. Then we take this guy and we bend it. We're gonna put it in here with these guys and make them all happy. All happy in one little clump. Get them all twisted together like that. Okay, then we'll take this guy and we'll put him in there like that. And then we got just one wire. Mm. Out. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Black to gold, white to silver, bare to green. And then we can push it in here, like that. And we can just put it in. Some of you guys have had some questions about codes and things like that. I know we've talked about it before in other videos, but I figured this would be a good time just to catch you up for those of you that are new. And so we live in uh, Bonner County, Idaho. We are building off grid, but just because you're building off grid, as in not connected to the um, electrical grid or the sewer or water, you know, stuff like that, doesn't mean that there's not building codes. And so in Bonner County, they don't actually have, you might say building codes as in the building itself, as in the physical structure of the house. They have what's called a location permit, and that is, where the footprint is going to be, they're gonna come out and check where the footprint is. But after that, they don't come out and check the building anymore until you say, we're done. They come out, they look at it and say, yep, you're done. And then they mark it off as done. And so they don't check your foundation, they don't check your rebar, they don't check your framing, they don't check your roof or nothing like that. That's the county, okay? That's not the state. The state, they check your electrical, your plumbing, your sewer, your HVAC. Um, what else? That might be it, I don't know. But all of the other stuff that's not the actual wood and sheetrock and concrete gets inspected by the state. And so um, they come out and check that. But, so some people are asking, what about a certificate of occupancy? We don't have a certificate of occupancy here. You can live in your house whenever you want, it's your house. And so, um, yeah, we lived in our house and we live in our house while it's not yet complete. So, it's not a problem. All right, testing them out right now. Yes, we've got some of the lights going. Lights over here, two lights up there. We got the fan and the light going, living room lights on upstairs. You notice different colors? We gotta figure out the settings on the lights for the colors to get them to all look really nice and the same. But uh, it's coming out good, man. In this video, we're gonna finish all of the electrical in here, okay? Uh, it has been a full day's work. I mean, look at it. It's, it's getting pretty dark out there. Not dark dark, but it's the sun is setting. So, Seth's coming out to check out the lights. So, what do you think, Dan? This is awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it from up there. Let's go up there and check it out. Ooh, I like it up here. I like. I think I like this yellow-ish color. The 4,000? I think, I think the, I forget what it is now. I think this is the four. But there we go. What? Not yet. No, not yet. Uh, don't fall. So how was um snowboarding today? Awesome. Yeah. It was snowing the entire time though, but fresh powder, knee deep. It's nice. Oh, check out the blue skies today. Blue skies and sunshine today, guys. It is pretty chilly though. It's probably around mm, 15 or. 16 degrees or something like that right now. But uh, let's cruise on in and then we'll get cracking on the electrical again today. <sighs> it's nice in here, stayed pretty warm last night. We're in the high 50s in here. So that's cool, just let the fire go out last night. Let's get started by putting some of these cool lights up in the ceiling. Why don't we chase down the weekend? Hang like fools from the ceiling. This feeling say I wanna be your companion I wanna be your companion Full of love and 
We got these ones in. We got two of these six in over here. Six? Eight. Two of the eight in over here. But I ran out of the little things that go in the hole when you knock out the knockout. So we're out of those. We got to pick up some more of those. So let's go ahead. We're going to finish up these light switches since they're all working properly. Three-way switches. Put the plates on those, get those things all looking great. And then we'll go check out what Jules is doing way back there in that closet. Until we know that we can keep up. Until we know that we've come far enough. I could get used to this feeling between us. Say, I wanna be a companion. We run into a couple problems that we're having difficulty figuring out. One is we can't get the hallway lights to turn on yet. So we're, we'll work on that after a little bit. The other one is, come with me. We can't get this light to come on because there's no power at the switch down here. And so like we're just racking our brains like why, why? And Julie remembered we ran the wire under the stairs. We went to the outlet over here at the stove and then we came up to here. But we think and I think that Julie is right, it was her idea, that the sheet rockers covered an outlet right in here. I feel like 100% confident that there is an outlet box over here. So we're gonna find the stud, then we'll measure up and we'll cut a hole and hopefully we'll find the outlet, yeah? Yeah, I think that'll solve it. Okay, let's try it. We're okay. like, what's going on? No, man. <laughs> what did we do? So here's the stud right here. Is the outlet on this side or this side? We're gonna to try to find an old video and see if we can find it. So we just were going through our videos and we found a clue as to where that box actually is. From this outlet right here, coming down underneath the stairs, in here where Mrs. Potter's hanging out. Right there. And, uh, coming through here into this outlet. Yep, right there. So this is the one. One stud over. That's covered up. So this is the one that's behind the stove. And this is the one that is covered. Okay. So it's over one, two, three, four studs. So let's go ahead and find that stud and then cut a hole and see if we don't find it. What do you think? Think we'll find it? I think we'll find it. It's a little sad though that yeah. it's gonna get a little messy. But Probably. At least it's there. Yeah. So that's the second one that we know has been covered up. I know it. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll find it. We're gonna look right now. There's a stud. What's well, interesting, look at that. Did you notice know see that? Right there, it's showing that there's power right here. Right there. There's no stud there, but there's power there. And so when we come over here, it shows that there's power here. Mm. There's where the box is. Okay. Pretty much guaranteed. Let's cut her. Let's cut her. You wanna grab that saw? Yeah. Alright, let's turn the breaker off. <laughs> <laughs> found it, <babe. laughs> wow, let me see, dude. Is that cool? Dude, you let go, that was exact. Yay! <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was so happy about that. All right, so we found our box. Hopefully we have an extra outlet. We'll have to check and see. Otherwise, we could just wire and it together, put it back in there and add the outlet later. Yeah. Need it, okay. To make sure that we get this light working. We bought exactly just what we needed, so we don't have an extra 15 amp outlet laying around anywhere, so we're just gonna wire and them together for right now. Crisis averted. Yeah. Let's get this switch hooked back up and we'll try it. All right. I think we're ready. We go turn the power back on. Yep. And then we'll flip the switch and hope it works. Okay. Let's go turn. Let's go turn the power back on. I think this is gonna work now. <laughs> wow. Danger zone. All right. Moment of truth. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. We got that one fixed. Oh, that was crazy. All right, so we'll button this up and that'll be done. Yeah, we have to get another amp, 15 amp though. Yeah. Now we have one more problem. 
yeah, two more really. We've got the, the hall lights aren't working and we have another outlet covered up in the kitchen. We undid a couple of the outlets because we were trying to figure out where these wires were. So we got to go back through and button it all up again. This one behind the stove, we need to put back together. And then this one right here, we need to go ahead and put that all back on and get the plate put back on it. Last one, and then we get to solve our next mystery. problem that we're seeing with the hall lights is there is no wire going from the switch to the lights. That's how it appears right now. And so we're just double checking how these are wired. We've got one set of Romex down there. We should have two here because that light comes to this light, then that light goes to the third light. So we'll check here. We should have two wires here. So here we've got two sets of wires, which is exactly what I would expect. Just didn't remember after I put these up there. All right, so we'll put this one back together. We'll check the third one, and there's probably only one wire in there. All right, last one here. We'll see. Can you hold that guy? Yeah. We'll see, I'm guessing that there's only one wire in here. Hmm. This will be the problem, huh? So there's only one wire coming in there. All right, so. There is no power coming from the switch to the hull lights. So we gotta figure out how to get power up to this light. To come and like go up this wall, there is a two by 12 header in this all the way down that way. It'll take some thinking, but it's not impossible, I know it. The lights that we don't have power to are directly below me here. This is the hallway downstairs right below me. And so we're looking at the floor, how we might be able to get power up and cut, a, cut through the floor and then get power to there. We have an idea. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna let it brew a little bit though. We should, it should be done in this video. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get those lights working in this video. But first, we're gonna go over here, work on the kitchen and the outlet that they covered up. Hopefully we can find that one in the video also. So I think our videos have saved the day again. We went back to this one. This is not going according to plan. And you can see right here, this is the outlet that's covered up. It's one stud over from this one, which is on the counter and on the left-hand side of the stud. Now we get to go fishing. <laughs> Another successful fishing trip. Yeah. One other small thing that I forgot to do was put a GFI at the beginning of the run. So Jules is popping this guy off here. We'll take out this outlet, replace it with the GFI. But I'm not 100% sure that this is where the home run started. So we'll test that first before we actually change out the outlet. Why is it your fault? I'm the one that did it. Oh yeah, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even mention that. <laughs> but we needed this 20 for the outlet that we just found. Yeah. Right. So now we'll have one. Yeah. All right. Outlet for the stove is in now. Check that power over here for the GFI. Make sure that's where the home run is. Then we can put in our GFI on this south wall. And then we'll check for the, this is the west wall. We'll go ahead and take that one out first. Should be, this one should be.
Another morning here on the homestead. Smoking up some cheese. We'll check that out later on today and see how it came out. Look at our panels, beautiful, making, making a lot of power. Right now we wanna go inside and we wanna try to fix that major electrical problem that we caused when we wired the house. And hopefully we can get that fixed today without too much difficulty. Slept on it, have a good plan. Let's see if we can go and execute that plan without any problems. All right, so the overall plan is to get power from this switch right here down into the crawl space and then out to the garage, up the interior wall of the garage, into the ceiling joists, and get it over to that light right up there. I feel 100% confident that we can get it from the crawl space to the garage, up and over to that light. This right here is the tricky part, getting it from this box down into that hole. And probably for a lot of you guys, that's like, oh, I've done that a million times. I've never done that before. So, I am not 100% confident that we can do it without take, I don't want to take this box out. If we took the box out, then we could do it probably pretty easy, but I don't have another box to replace it. You know, one of those ones that you can put in after the fact, and I want to finish it today. So we're going to try to do it without taking the box out. Put your hand in my hand, darling. Just uh, trying to line up a spot on the floor where it's going to line up with this hole in the box. One and a half. Okay. That is an inch and a quarter. So three and three quarters. Three and three quarters over, huh? From that Two point. and a half plus inch and a quarter. Three and three quarters. All right. Well, let's try it then. Hopefully there's not a floor joist right where we need the drill. Oh man. <laughs> so one of the concerns is that I just, I can't remember, but it's highly unlikely that the wire from the outlet there going over to the switch went down to the floor joist or to the, to the bottom plate and ran right along the bottom plate and then came up. Very unlikely that we did that, but I just can't remember. So hopefully we don't drill into a wire. You want me to come hold it? Um, huh? You want me to come hold the light? No, I think it's okay. I got it setting down and it's recording actually. So okay. you guys are getting a, a view from the floor. <laughs> And where, where is our drill bit? I was turning the light down. Um, I, I should, I should see it, like poking down. It must be on the other side of this floor joist here. Thank you. Too far, hun. It's like above your shoulder. It's, oh, there it is. Yeah. I see it. What? Ray, come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, so we got our hole drilled through the bottom plate and I can see the light coming through this hole right here. It's pretty much a straight shot. There is one wire that's like coming out of the bottom of this box. It's kind of might be in the way. We'll see, we're gonna stove pipe cleaners, rods. We're gonna screw these together. I'm gonna feed them up through and hopefully we can get it to come out this hole right here. All right, let's see if we can, if we can do this. We're gonna be laying on our backs again here. Okay, where are we? All right. Problem is that I can't see nothing up there. Now. Hey, Jules. Yeah. Could you shine the light in that box? All right, I'm gonna have to turn the light off so that I can see up there better. Oh, I, you're hitting the box. Yeah. Let me shine the light. All right, so. We're measuring the floor where the light is in the hallway down below. 64 inches to the center of the light from the doorway, which is that same doorway right there. And uh, we're gonna cut a strip out and then we've got some extra that we could just put back in there and make it good.
That's Tux. Hi, dogs. You want to come in? <laughs> All right. So I guess we can cut a strip out. There's a floor joist here, and there's a floor joist here. So we'll have to go up to this floor joist so we have something to attach the next piece to. Because mm -hmm. it looks like the light is on this side of the floor joist, right? Because okay. here's the floor joist. Mm -hmm. And 64 inches is right here, so we must have attached it to the other side. So, I feel like it's coming out all right. We got one cut through, do the next cut. Let's see, hopefully it'll pop right out. He's gone. <laughs> I don't care about writing my name in sawdust. It's loose. It's loose. It's probably glued down with liquid nails. What were you eating this morning? Tux. Tux. Were you eating a stick this morning? What was it? Was it a chicken? Tux. Tux. I'm talking to you. Food? Look at me. Tux. Tux. Food? Tux. You're not playing along. <laughs> Could you please be cute on camera? <laughs> Got it, dude. There it is. <laughs> so there's a hole right here that we drilled from the garage to come into this thing. Hopefully. I don't know how we're going to do that, though. How we're going to push the wire through there with that insulation in there. There we go. If we can get the rod through there, then we could drill smaller holes through here. Yeah. I think. It's a moment of truth, I think. Yep. <gasps> nice. <laughs> good job. All right. So that's good, huh? Yeah. Good job. Kitty, you're squishing down our insulation there. <laughs> Made a little stuff a little bit. We've got all of the, the hard stuff done, I do believe. We'll be able to pull that wire through there. But it is noon. Just gonna have to take a break. Go out and get the cheese off of the smoker. It's been on there for mm, three or four hours probably. So let's go grab that and then we'll see how it came out. Still smoking. Put about five hours worth of smoke in there. We don't need to smoke it for five hours probably, but oh, it's smoking. Looking good. Maybe we'll let it go a little bit longer, huh? Flip it over. <coughs> Smoky. Yeah, we'll let it go a little longer. You might be wondering what was for lunch today. Oh, it was the breakfast skillet for lunch from Thrive Life. Just add hot water. Look at that. 20 year shelf life. Pretty good stuff. All right, Jules is going to unspool the wire while I pull it out the other side there. Sally's supervising today. Safety, Sally. It was really kind of spooky. Look, I know you, some of you guys are creeped out by Sally. Sally, you're not creepy, are you? But uh, this light right here at night, when it's on, it shines straight down on her and like puts some of those dark shadows on her and stuff. 
I'll try to remember to show you while uh, while she's still sitting there sometime. But it's gonna be at night because it doesn't really look as cool during the day. All right, so we need to pull that guy out of there. All right, that's the light we're trying to get to. We went through the floor joists, came out right here, we're coming down through here, going into here, which will then take us into the crawl space. Yeah, we're almost and there. Almost there. We'll be able to test it here soon. <laughs> and then one tiny mistake. I know it. Has led to a whole day's worth of extra work. But we got to be creative and figure out something new. That's right. <laughs> So we've got our stovepipe cleaner coming up through here, running all the way down into the crawl space. So I'll go tape the wire onto the end of that. Then Jules is going to pull it up and um, hopefully we get to come out of that box. All right, so let's jump on down here. See if we can't get this thing hooked up. Here's our cleaner or our stovepipe cleaner and our wires right there. Put it on here. All right, Jules, you ready? Okay. Pull it up. Nice and sweet and gentle like. Nice. Good. Oh. Right. Beautiful. So it's we did it. Alright, all right, cheese is done. Just wrapping it up in some cellophane and we'll let it set in the refrigerator for mm, a few days or so. Check out the Swiss and it got a little got a little warm. It smells so good. I know. It does smell good. So we're just wrapping it like this. And uh, put it away for a few days. Go. Wiring up the last, the other, the far side of the three-way switch. And I used this diagram right here to, to do it. It's the same way we wired up the three-way switches over here. Hopefully it'll work. We're ready to turn on the power and test it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. So since it's a three-way switch, it might come on or they might not. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Hall closet. They came on, huh? On. On. All right. Let's see if they turn off. Ooh, look at that. Hall uh -huh. lights are on. The middle one's a different color. Oh yeah. Well, that's an easy fix. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give it a try. Off, on, off. I'll go down here. I'll check the switch. Yeah. Works. On. Success. Uh, and the closet light works. <laughs> now we just need to fix the floor upstairs. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fix, put these all together. Put the, yeah. I should go turn the power off. And put well, the we gotta set on. that light to the right setting. Okay. And then we should be ready to go, man. Awesome. So we're just sitting some blocking in here to uh, be able to screw the, the wood when we put it back down there on. Give it a nice stable spot. All right, Jones. Let's hope so. Oh, look at that. Won't even know that we did it yeah. once the carpet is on it. <laughs> so, sealed up again. Can walk on it, safe and sound. Those little padding and carpet up here. Anyway, so you'll never, never notice it or anything. Let's, uh, what do we need to do now? I think we need to put the insulation back in. Oh yeah, and staple up the wire in the garage. Mm-hmm. And then change the color in that light. Yeah. All right, Jules, show us what we got. All right. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Kitchen, living room, middle. There we go, and the fan. Cool. And one of these is an outside light, and what's the other one for? Mm, it's not actually being used. Oh yeah. We only have one switch for the fan, although we put two in in case we needed it, but this fan only requires one. 
So if we get a different fan in the future, we might have to operate the light and the actual fan separately, but this one only does one. That's right, because it has a remote control. And so there's like a little computer thing up there and it only has one hot coming in. So now we have an extra switch. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to memorize this panel here of switches. I know, there's a lot, huh? Yeah, but they all are working, so that's great. And now the hallway also works. Ready, two. Here we go. And they're all the same color. That's important. <laughs> it is. The electrical is finally finished, and that is where we're going to have to end this video, my friends. But we did pick out this one right here for you to go ahead and watch next. In the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.